Hello again. Now, a new book to honor the late UCT academic Dr. Bongani Mayosi is hitting the shelves. Doctor of Hearts, co-authored by Dr. Kopano Matlua together with Dr. Judy Lamini, covers different chapters of Mayosi's life from birth to his death at the age of 51. Mayosi took his own life during a battle with depression in July 2018. His death brought into sharp focus the role that mental health, student protests, as well as transformation at our higher education institutes play in the lives of high profile black academics in particular. Let's discuss this further now. I'm joined by academic and businesswoman, Dr. Judy Lamini, who co-authored the book. Dr. Lamini, good afternoon. Welcome to today, and thank you very much uh, uh, for your time, and thank you as well for the copy of the book, which uh, was delivered to me and beautifully signed by yourself uh, last week. I haven't had a chance to read the entire book, but I've gone through quite um, uh, uh, chunks of it, and, and, and the way you've written this book is to, is to take us through the life and the times of Bongani Mayosu from when he was small right through and talking to different people who interacted with him and how he touched their lives. For you, why this book now? Uh, thanks very much, uh, Dan, for having me. Uh, good afternoon to you and the viewers. Uh, it, it was quite an honor uh, to write this book with uh, Dr. Kopa Nomato Mabaso. Uh, why now? Uh, it's always the right time to share stories about African leaders that serve beyond themselves, that are trailblazers, and we need to celebrate them. You know, you touch on mental health issues. That is a big subject on its own. What we did, though, with this book is to focus not on the mental health side of things, no, what could have been or would have been, but to just celebrate his life and celebrate the life that he led because we want to inspire young people that you can still have leaders that care, that are selfless, and that transform individuals to best versions of themselves. Yeah, the, 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 the sense I got uh, from his early, early days of, of his life is that, uh, I mean, he grew up I in a family brought by parents who, were, who believed in education, who were professionals themselves, is that from when he was young, he was always willing to serve others. And that's what he did yeah. throughout his career. It, it's so true. As a young boy, he always fought the corner of the underprivileged. I mean, his dad was a doctor and he specialized in uh, obstetrics and gynae. And the mother was a nurse who later became a teacher. But in spite of him being privileged, he always looked out for those kids that didn't have access to much. And he learned that from his parents, because if you read the book, uh, then without disclosing too much, though the father had a car, he wouldn't take them to school in his car. He would actually watch them walk with other kids so that they actually get used to how other kids live and also just be part uh, of uh, the village. So yeah, he learned it from his family, and uh, he just carried on till the very yes. last day of his life. Yeah, we don't want to give out too much. There's a story early. Yeah. In the early there's a, a paragraph that caught my attention. What he used to do when he used to uh, was in primary school with uh, with his younger sibling, and which which is a beautiful yeah. uh, a moment as well. But but I mean, you, you, I, I like how you and and Doctor uh, uh, um, and Doctor Mabaso have done this because you've taken us through. You take the reader through the life of uh, of Bongani as a as a, as a as a child as a son. And you speak to the mother, and, and you and, and then you get a sense. And as a brother, a, a, and you speak to the siblings. As a husband, you speak to the to, to the wife, and, and, and so on. And how he was as a father, and you take us through all of that, and that's bringing to light what to most of us we didn't know. And reading this book gives us a picture into into the quality and the character of of, of Bongani. Hmm. Yes, uh, you would uh, notice that uh, I don't think Gopano shares it in the book, but Gopano was one of the mentees of Bongani. And for me, I was his senior at medical school. Uh, I met Bongani and the wife, Nunchanta, 
1983, I was in fourth year and they were just joining a medical school. So it, it was even for us, having known him, uh, it was like we're meeting him for the first time. And the beauty with that was that the person that is reflected in all those chapters is the same guy I met in 1983 and the same guy I last saw uh, in the year of his uh, passing. Yeah, and uh, uh, there's a part where you explain how you were concerned about approaching his mother, you know, at the time of the loss, and you did not know how that discussion would go, but you were warmly received, and 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 she had accepted uh, the, the loss. I mean, courageous indeed, and and, and brave. But let's not forget. Uh, I don't want us to discuss the mental health issue, as you said, a topic on its own for another day, and we know how big it is today in the world, not just in South Africa. But there were lots of challenges that he faced at the time before he died at UCT. And from what I have read, he did not seem to have got enough, enough support. I mean, the students were protesting and they were looking at him as an enemy, so to speak. That must have been very hard for him. Oh, yes, uh, I, I, I gather that much. And you would understand that uh, someone like Bongani, from a very young age, even during his high school days, he, he cared. He was very politically astute, and uh, he cared for the underprivileged. And he saw students as those people that have to be supported. So when they were disillusioned with him, because he represented the system in their eyes, uh, that affected him. But you know, the beauty is that because he was such a kind-hearted person, he never held that against them. He never held a grudge against anyone, including the students. Yeah, and he's been honored in more ways than one uh, by, the, by the university himself, recognizing his, his contribution. At the time, he was, he was a dean of the health sciences department. I think he was the first black dean of that department, uh, fr from what I've, I've gleaned. But he was also globally recognized, Dr. Lamini. Yes. Oh, he has so many accolades uh, that we mention in the book. Uh, he was just one of those trailblazers that... When you look at him as a researcher, he was top in his class. I mean, any scientist of any color in any part of the world. When you look at how he actually went throughout the continent to have multi-country uh, and uh, multi-institutional research, which had never been done before. Quite a few countries, as you may know, that when it comes to research, uh, which tends to be funded by the pharmaceutical companies, you need to have uh, governance structures. One of those is ethics uh, committees that have to approve before you even go out to do the research. So Bongani took it upon himself that when you say, we don't have that in this country, therefore we cannot conduct research, you'd say, I'll come and help you start it. You know, I spoke to quite a few uh, researchers uh, over different parts of the continent who said, I'm older than him, but I was introduced to proper global research by Bongani. You know, it is, uh, it, it's rare to find someone who think outside their institution. He would bring researchers from different parts of the continent to UCT for training. He was very passionate about diseases of poverty, especially. You mentioned poverty. There's a beautiful quotation at the back of the book. Poverty breaks hearts mm -hmm. uh, by, by, by Bongani Mayos. And it's a beautiful foreword, by the way, by Professor Salim Abdul Karim, who will be known yes. to many South Africans today because he was one of those uh, faces we saw quite a lot during the COVID-19 um, uh, lockdown uh, in the last few years. And, I mean, he, the, the kind-hearted man, the scientist, bright guy, very generous, I mean, and had, mentoring uh, so many people. He's left a very rich, uh, rich, uh, rich legacy. But how can we honor it going forward, in your view, when people read this book? Or let me say, how, what do you want people to take out of this, of the Doctor of Hearts, the biography of Bongani Mayosi, going forward in, in honoring his legacy? You know, quite a few things, Dan. 
Uh, one of them is a family uh, which founded Tifiso Publishers when we founded the schools, a future nation uh, schools. Uh, we are donating every proceed uh, from the book to Bongani Mayosi Foundation. And uh, there is a website that talks about Bongani Mayosi Foundation to continue his legacy. That is one part. The other part is that you know, we are grappled with leadership sometimes that is about me, myself and I and my family. And here is a leader that inspires, that transforms people to be the best versions of themselves, that goes outside the country and goes throughout the continent, trying to make the world better because they lived and cared. We would like, Gopano and I, a young person Actually, when I say young, I mean any age, because we learn all the time, uh, to read the book and be inspired to be the best versions of themselves. Uh, one of our editors said, you know, when I finished editing this book, I felt I have to be kinder going forward. So those are some of uh, the messages that we've got from some of the people that said, you know, I think my purpose is this, and I've been inspired by the life of Bongani Mayusi. There are two words that stood out for me as I was going through the book, uh, Dr. Jamini, preparing for today's interview around him. It's, uh, it's serving. He was, a, he was serving people in a very beautiful way, but giving, giving of himself as well, the spirit of generosity. Thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, the, the story with us. Is this now uh, available on bookshelves and bookstores? Yes, it is available in bookstores. And uh, if you don't find it at a bookstore, ask them to order. And it's available from FISO Publishers. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Judy Lamini, academic and businesswoman, a co-author of uh, this book. And I have a copy, and I'm going to carry on reading it. Doctor of Hearts, the biography of Bongani Mayosi. What a bright light, one of South Africa's brightest lights. Uh, uh, but uh, sadly, losing him uh, in 2018, he ended his life after a period struggling uh, with depression. And then he was the dean. He was the first African Dean, Black Dean of the Health Sciences Department at the University of Cape Town.